the Baby's Day system has now been updated with the latest 2020 stroke 2021 EYFS. You can now log into your system on both the web version and the app to see the latest updates on the system. If you have not updated your app within the last 24 hours for both Android and iPhone, you need to do so to see the new changes. This video will demonstrate the changes on the web version of the system. The first thing you should do when you log into your system is go to the System Global Settings section. Within the Global Settings section, you will see a new section within the General Settings labeled Show Archived Progress. Select if you want to show the old archive progress along with the new updated EYFS progress. Selecting yes or no will either display or not display the previous progress on the system. In this example, we're going to leave it as yes so we can demonstrate the changes on the system between the old and the new progress. When you place your mouse over the progress icon at the top of the page, you will see you have a section named archived progress. This section contains all the previous progress on your system from the progress learning journal all the way through to the outcome search section. Beneath the archive progress you will see you have a progress learning journal section along with all the new sections. These sections are related to the new 2021 progress. Within the archive progress this is all your previous progress on the system. Anything you added for a child will still be located within this section. So let's proceed to the new progress section on the system. This can be done by placing the mouse over the progress and click in progress learning journal. When you arrive at this page, you will see it is similar to the previous progress section. Children will be listed along with the areas of learning beneath each child. Each area of learning is listed with the icons at the bottom, CL, EAD, LT, Mathematics, Physical Development, PSED and UTW. If we click on one of these areas of learning, it will take us instantly to that section for your selected child. When you arrive at this page, again it looks very similar to the previous progress section. Here we can see the tabs at the top. Clicking on these will jump through to that section. And beneath this you will see the age ranges that now is incorporated within the new EYFS. Birth to three, three to four, reception, and ELGs. Within each age range, you will see the outcomes listed. Alongside each outcome, you will see this icon shown here. Clicking on this will provide examples of how to support that outcome. You will notice when I clicked on this icon, it highlighted seven outcomes. This information here is related to the seven outcomes shown here and highlighted in dark orange. Clicking again on any of these seven icons within this section will hide the examples. If we now scroll down, for example here, copy your gestures and words. If I click on this icon, it will highlight these four outcomes and provide the examples beneath. Within the new EYFS, there are a selection of checkpoints. These checkpoints are indicated on the system by the checkpoint icon shown here. This one here indicated red indicates that the child has not achieved this checkpoint. Checkpoints are marked as achieved simply by selecting the date box and selecting the date you feel the child achieved that checkpoint. Once you mark a checkpoint as achieved, it will highlight green and the icon will also turn green. You can also add photos, videos, observations, next steps to checkpoints as well as outcomes. The process is the same as before, simply click on the icon and add your observation etc. As for checkpoints, adding achievement dates to outcomes works in the same way. Simply select the date box and select the date the child achieved the outcome. Again. Adding observations, photos and videos works in exactly the same way for outcomes and for checkpoints. At the top of each section you have a filter option. 
If you're looking for a specific word within the outcomes or the checkpoints, you can enter that word into the box. The system will then filter all the outcomes and checkpoints on the screen. For example, if we type in the word watch, the system will display one outcome or checkpoint that contains the word watch. Here we can see birth to three years, watch someone's face as they talk. If we enter the word listen, here we can see we have a selection of outcomes and checkpoints that contain the word listen. Birth to three, three to four, reception and within the ELG section. Another addition within the progress section is that when you add an observation, you can now select that observation as a wow moment rather than just an observation or a note. This will appear on the system as a wow. For example, let's go ahead and add a wow for Harry. You will now see that the wow moment that I added for Harry is displayed with a wow and a star and the date that the wow moment was added. The checkpoints within the EYFS are an important part of the system. Therefore, we have added a new section called Progress Checkpoints. This can be found by going to Progress, Progress Checkpoints. On this page, we advise reading this section here that says Progress Checkpoints Help. This advises you that the Progress Checkpoints are key milestones and only appear within the three prime areas of the EYFS. The checkpoints appear within the progress section grouped within the early years outcomes for each child and each checkpoint can be marked as achieved just as if it was an early years outcome. On this page you will see all the children within the room that they have been assigned to. If a child has a red border this indicates that the child has not achieved any of their checkpoints as yet. Orange indicates that the child has achieved one or more checkpoints but not all of the checkpoints by the recommended age. And if a child is green, this indicates that the child has achieved all their checkpoints by the recommended age. So let's go ahead and take a look at Harry's checkpoints. Clicking on the view icon will take you across to Harry's progress checkpoints page. On this page, you will now see the three prime areas, communication and language, physical development and personal social and emotional development. Within this section you will see all the checkpoints that have been taken from the progress section and displayed within the relative age group. So here we can see for communication birth to three, three to four, physical development birth to three, three to four and personal social and emotional development birth to three and three to four. You will see that some are red and for Harry, some are green. Red indicates that the child has not achieved that checkpoint, and if it's highlighted in green, it indicates that the child has achieved that checkpoint. Here we can see for the first checkpoint, around six months, does the baby respond to familiar voices? This is highlighted in green with a checkpoint achievement date of the 10th of August, 2021. Clicking on the manage icon to the right would allow you to add photos, videos, observations, etc. In addition, if any observations or photos had been added to that checkpoint, these can also be seen within this section. Again, you can mark off the checkpoints as achieved on this page simply by clicking in the date box and adding the date the child has achieved. At the top of this page, you can save a snapshot. For example, that the title would be Summer 2021 and you can add notes to this snapshot if desired. Now we can simply scroll to the bottom of the page and click on the save button. You will now be taken back to the progress checkpoints overview page where you can now see for Harry, he now has a down arrow beneath his child profile image. Clicking on this down arrow will display the date the snapshot was created, the title and any notes relative to that snapshot. Clicking on the manage icon allows you to view, print or delete the snapshot. Let's go ahead and view the snapshot. And here we can see this is a snapshot recorded on the 8th of August with the title and the notes you added and the status for Harry at that time. As this is a saved snapshot, you are unable to add photos or videos or observations to this saved snapshot. This is basically showing you on the date you created the snapshot, the child's status with regards to his checkpoints. This is a very easy and convenient way to record a child's achievements over a period of time. You can look back at these with the parents and see exactly how the child has progressed. 
with regards to the other areas of the progress section, most of these remain in place. Pending observations, next steps, starting points, statistics, summaries, achievement search, terminal reports, two-year progress checks and the outcome search. The only section that is no longer within the new progress are progress trackers. Progress trackers is being replaced by the progress checkpoints. We fully appreciate that within the new EYFS it states that paperwork should be reduced for settings. However, we were not going to simply remove all these sections on the system that our customers have been using for a number of years. Therefore, we've left them on the system and the individual setting can make a decision whether they do or do not want to continue to use these sections on the system. We do not feel removing these sections from the system would have been a positive experience for our customers. Therefore, you may continue to use these sections as you did previously. The sample next steps on the system have also been completely replaced with new sample next steps for you to use within your setting. All other sections of the system remain operational exactly as they were before but are now related to the new EYFS. The last change which I am now going to show you on the system is related to the existing archived progress on the system. So let's go ahead and jump to the archive progress, progress learning journal. And we're going to take a look at Harry's previous progress on the system. We're going to jump to CL, communication and language. Here we can see Harry's previous progress on the system. I'm now going to scroll down to 30 months to 50 months. Here we can see the outcome listens to stories with increasing attention and recall. You will see that there is an orange icon indicating that this outcome has an observation. If we click here and select show achievements, you will see that Harry's observation was Harry loves to sit quietly and listens to story at story time. He also regularly recalls moments in the story, especially during dressing up time. What we can do with the old progress is copy achievements, including next steps, observations, parent observations from the old progress across to the new progress. To do this, simply find the observation you're interested in and you will see a copy icon shown here. Click on the copy icon and you will now see that it states you have chosen to copy the observation from the archive progress to the new 2020 progress. Select the early years outcomes that you would like to copy. Here we can see that the description, what we're going to do is copy this observation across to the new EYFS. And we're going to do that by selecting here and typing in the word listening. You will see now within the communication and language, you will see we have three to four years, enjoy listening to longer stories and can remember much of what happens. This is a close match to the existing outcome that the observation was linked to within the existing progress. So we're going to select this outcome within the new EYFS and then we're going to click on the save button. You can, if you want, click achieved here to mark this outcome within the new progress section as achieved. We're going to simply click on the save button and that observation within the existing progress has been copied across to the new progress. You will now see that the copy icon is now green indicating that it has already been copied once. However, you can proceed to copy it to additional outcomes. If we now jump back to the progress, progress learning journal, select Harry for CL and scroll down to three to four years you will now see enjoys listening to longer stories and can remember much of what happens. We now have an orange icon. Click here, select show achievements. You will now see that the observation has been added to the new progress from the existing progress. We can now mark an achievement date of the date that the child achieved this outcome. At the start of the video, you may recall we said to go to system global settings and select the show archive progress yes no. If we now select that to no and click on save you will now see within the progress section you now no longer have the archive progress. Once you have copied data across from the old progress to the new progress you can go ahead and select this option to make management on the system easier for you. Thank you.